Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here from Droid Life, and today I'm bringing you our featured ROM from our Custom ROM Friday post we just put up, and it's called Carbon. I have it running here on a Nexus 4. It's based off of Android 4.2, and it brings a ton of customization options and just a whole bunch of fun stuff that people love to play with. So, um, I'll be going over a few of the special features that Carbon brings. And basically, you know, you get it booted up, and it's pretty much just like Android 4.2, but it's what's under the hood and baked into the ROM that kind of makes it special. Um, so, for example, let's just pop into, set, well, as you can see already, I'm pulling down the nav bar, and it's transparent. It has toggles up here, which is I've always liked. There's an option for having a, a just brightness toggle here, a little dial, which is nice. And then if you change over in the quick settings... Say you can um, you can change up all the different enabled uh, quick settings. So if you go under here, and we just go into oops, naturally settings, and then so under here is all the special carbon settings. So you can change your interface, lock screen, navigation, play with the kernel, overclock, underclock, all that fun stuff. Um, all your quick settings, status bar, and it has a theme engine built inside. So say we um, check out this quick settings real quick, we can see all the different stuff that's enabled. We can say disable Bluetooth or airplane. Instead, we want to put on NFC or a torch, which is always nice to have. And then you just close that out. And then you're going to be good to go. A little two-finger slide down here. And then it's going to show all the different ones. Say, so you got your torch. Oh, yeah. Fancy, fancy. So all that. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Um, like I said, it has a theme engine. So I can show you one of those. I think I downloaded a theme to kind of show off real quick. Themes. Oh yeah, signature blue, baby. So we'll go ahead and enable that. It's going to apply, and there you go. So it's got more of a matte kind of finish right there on the top. And uh, it doesn't show too well in the video, probably because my lighting is also terrible. But um, yeah, it changes up your um, nav bar down there. And then it also changes up... Um, the actual icons of the system, which is quite lovely. So, yeah, that's a couple of the um, unique features, at least. Brings a ton more. Like, literally, the list of features is redonkulous. Um, changing up the navigation bar. Let's see, you can change all the colors. So, lately, um, being able to change the color of the nav bar and not just the buttons itself is kind of new. So being able to change that, and then you can change the colors of these too. So really, you can kind of change the whole um, look of Android just through the settings here, which is lovely. But um, here, I'll switch it back to black, because that, of course, looks much better. All right, so that's back to black. Back to black. And um, so one of the other unique things that it has is called Pi, P-I-E. And we've written it up a few times, and what it does is it brings another kind of like quick settings toggle, or say you disabled your nav bar, you can just slide up from that little part here and it brings up Pi. So that allows you to get back, home, recent apps, has your time, your Wi-Fi, battery remaining and all that fun stuff. And then you can even add like search and other options down there. And so you can disable that and kind of have a real minimalistic look, but then also still get to all the functionality of your device. So that's a huge plus for some. Um, let's see, what else real quick? Under settings... Yeah, oh yeah, you got all your performance tweaks, all your kernel stuff, all that fun jazz. And then let's see, power widget, power menu, theme, status bar. Really, I don't think there's anything you can't change. So, other than that, it seems really stable, super smooth. I know I don't have any widgets on, but I can tell you I was playing with it earlier, and it's fast. It's a really nice ROM. I kind of stopped using ROMs uh, once Jelly Bean was out because I was like, well, you know, you don't have to overclock. Everything's already working really fine. It looks good, so you don't really need a theme, but there's still developers out there working on this stuff, pumping out all this great work. So uh, we just wanted to show off one of the good, better ones that you guys recommended, and so far I have to say I'm really enjoying it. So, um, if you want to try it out on one of your devices, it's available for Nexus 4, 